and we are rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Hey, everybody. It's the, the Punk Unicorns Podcast with Nefferberg and Mama Gay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bitches. Episode Ethan 14, yeah. Yes, it has. We have made it farther than some classic 80s television shows. Mm Mm-hmm. And, yeah, some people are in year 14 of high school. You know what? What's that? You look amazing in those sunglasses today. Where could a young gay person like myself acquire such stunning eyewear? So nice of you to ask, Nikki B. This weekend, I attended the Pride events in Dayton, Ohio. That's right, We will get to that in a moment. However, the first little canopy that I stumbled across was sunglasses. And if you know me, I have been addicted to sunglasses for as long as I can remember. Me too. Amen. And I start talking to this family And when the dad starts talking, I hear this man's voice and immediately I'm like, hold up, I know you. This man has a very distinctive voice, kind of like Morgan Freeman or James Earl Jones type stuff. She said, this, yes, this guy, I worked and not only was this guy here, his wife was here. I worked with both of them 25 years ago at an insurance company. Insurance company, or was it one of those like telemarketing scams that Netflix just had a documentary on? I was never on the phone. That was for other people. I don't know what they oh, okay. was doing. Okay, okay. I was paying claims for old people with broken arms. But <laughs> <laughs> things to say right before you take a drive. Mm-hmm. So this family, the painter family, was selling their sunglasses, and she. The wife had had two children prior to them getting together, and they met right there where we worked. And he ran the front desk. So whenever somebody would get a call, it would be like, Nikki B, you have a call on line one. Nikki B, line one. And I mean, it was like that. It's like how I am at the dispo. Yes, like you got to flow at the dispo. And I said, oh my God, I know you. We work together. And I took the sunglasses off that I had on. They realized who I was. And they were like, this is the baby that we had when we were working together. And oh my God, he was so adorable. I was like, dude, I have to come pat. How old is he now? 23. Yeah, that was a long time ago. 23. He's 23 years old. When he said that, I damn near hit the concrete. Like, wow. Is this... Oh, wait, this is not the same place you worked at with my my friend in public service who happens to be, used to be the mayor of a small town? No, no. Okay. No. Um, so, yeah, um, I purchased, and, and, and I knew I was going to get some sunglasses before I left. I saw these sitting there, and I knew those were the ones that I was going to grab on my way out, and I did, and I think they're fabulous. Now... The reason why I'm wearing black lipstick, we'll get that to that in a minute. But we want to talk about the month of July, don't we, Nikki B? Yay! So, we are going to take the month of July off from the podcast. But, calm don't down. Don't start crying, No. Listen. Wipe your ass. We are still going to have content every week on, you know, like Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Sometime. They'll be there. Um, we'll have a couple mukbangs. Banging and, the muck. Um, we'll have some behind the scenes content of us filming some new things for season two. Oh my god! We're already almost up to season two! Ah! It's crazy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Did you hear who's back? Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. <gasps> Guess who's back? Guess, Guess who's, who's back? back? Guess, Guess who's, who's back? back? Guess who's back? No, oh, I no, think that no, doesn't no. trigger the thing. <laughs> Damn, don't worry. We can't, right. I can't really sing. So he come out with his new song, Houdini. You know, Abra, Abra. you know, you can't listen to it. And then 
Wait a minute. It, it was he, like he covered Abracadabra. Well, no. Look, this song that he did, Houdini. It's like all to me. It's like all of his well-known songs smushed into one new jam. Oh, and that's by how Madge does it when she oh, comes out it. with a new album. I love it. But it's not, it's it's like the same but not. And people are like, I cannot believe Eminem is saying this. Well, bitch, Eminem ain't saying it. It's more, or it's, it's Slim Shady that's saying it. And, and somebody had posted the music video. And, you know, people interpret music different, just like art. Just like you could look at a piece of art and be like, I see da 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 da. But now I can't say, no, Why? it's blah, 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 blah. Because no, for you, it's not what I see. You know, fixing, taking you to the eye doctor ain't gonna fix my fucking eyesight. Well, because you might see a painting and be like, right. one person sees breasts while the other person sees a milk maiden who's just, you know, cooling off next to a stream in the woods. That's a lot of visual. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect anything. Well, I just but, saw the milk maiden. I didn't see the breasts. See, I would have seen the titties. <laughs> so, you know, I, I feel like as I'm watching this video and I'm listening to the words, as I relate to this, I feel like he is, because he's made, he's like, I'm gonna make my career disappear. And he's focusing on the death of Slim Shady. He's it's a fucking metaphor for me. Right, it's not him, it's it's him being a different artist from here on out. That's what I he's said. He's probably gonna get into some he's, uplifting rap instead of hate. I rap. don't I, I don't know about that. Well, that's true, but you know, maybe he wants I to mean, see something that, different. Well, so my thing is is you know, you ever like look back at like posts on Facebook from like ten plus years ago and you're like, oh my Oh, God. And just cringe, you know? So, I took this as a more evolved, mature, Marshall Mathers type, looking back on this, like, yeah, I, I'm successful, I got successful, but, you know, to get really straight with myself, I had to get sober, I had to, you know, you, and that is something that changed his perspective and perspective and, his, and his adult now and, and his music too so they're taking things that he's saying like literal like there's a part in the song where he's you know video chatting with his daughters and he, he's like you know fuck you fuck you fuck you and fuck my kids too they're brats and everybody's like i'm like hi it's definitely not gen x or shocked no Definitely. We're not shocked. We're not shocked. No, because... Okay. We're the generation that watched Return of the Living Dead at five. Yeah. And thought that the uh, disclaimer at the beginning was real, where it's like, this happened. We just changed the name of the place. And it's like, ah, it's all the same. Only the name will change. So, yeah, I, I had commented on, like, a Facebook post saying, you know, giving my perspective of how I'm inter me I'm interpreting it and somebody said no it is him saying that everybody is soft and all this new shit is trash I can't even remember what the dude said I'm like first of all you are completely fine to have that opinion have that opinion but you don't start it off with no because my interpretation is not wrong just because it's not your interpretation. So and don't start it out with right. no, motherfucker. And that's what's great about music. It's different for everybody. It is. It is. Like, you know. So anyway, uh, let's get back to Pride Hi. and Dayton. It was so fun. Um, we stayed only for a few hours because it was hotter than Satan's butt cheeks. And it's all over downtown now, right? It's not all confined to Courthouse Square. No, it's not confined. The The thing that I miss about it being confined, though, is that particular area had very awesome airflow every year. And I never got overheated. But the, the way they have it set up, 
But I mean, the way they have a setup is phenomenal. There are so there's so much room for activity. Right, it's and ten times larger than it's it is, ever been. It is, and you know, it gives the performers. The opportunity to, you know, come closer to the audience and, and perform and, you know, get, you know, tips and such. And uh, at the, the one stage, I would be always afraid that they was going to fall off because that's pretty high, you know, up there. Right. And, you know, some girls are uh, six foot uh, 17 in, in heels. Um, yeah, that would be um, my cousin who performed. Landon Cherry. Yay! I love you, Landon kids. Landon Cherry. What a fabulous name. I love it. Do you love it? I super love it. You ready for this? That is his government name. <sighs> that so is his, his parents knew. Their parents knew back then that they were going to be cool someday. Well, they. I, I'm assuming. It was like a play on words, you know, Land and Jerry. I don't know, but I love him to bet. I, I can't really, I can't. Hey, look, let's have another Werther's Original. <laughs> anyway, he put on a phenomenal show. In what what song, since we can't play it? You know what? I did not know what that song was that he performed to. So I we'll may have to ask him. Anthems category. Yeah, I, I was a female singer. I don't know. I mean, maybe I've heard it. And was it Amy? Singing. Was it Amy Grant? God, I hope not. <laughs> baby, baby, I'm <laughs> taking <laughs> with the no, no, no. But um, my boy did the split. <gasps> on the damn pavement. Ooh, that just made Heard my, your my, pussy, don't it? Yeah, it hurts my kajujalo. Mm. And then, this bitch did a high kick so high that it looked like he was a contortionist. Then a turd squirt out like a ping pong ball. Like it must. <laughs> hey, if it did, it was well protected because I'm going to tell you what. There have been so many people comment on the picture that I took of Landon doing the high kick. Like, where do y'all people, are, where do they put it? Like, because he looks, full, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's be for, you know what I'm why, saying? Why do people act like it's full size to all the time? And I'm like, listen, would it's you stop looking size. at my cousin's genitalia's and you know they make padded stuff now to hide all that. So if you oh, just I'm get sure. online, you'll find out where they put it. In a and then we have another um, we have another lovely friend by the name of Scarlet Moon. Scarlet Moon. Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet is a lovely, lovely heifer. And every time I watch her perform, I dislocate fourteen vertebrae and get vertigo. I tell you, Scarlett. Talk, talk about Glamazon. She um, is fabulous. Scarlett's husband was right next to me when we was watching the performance. And Scarlett said, my mama said, Scarlett's going to need a double knee replacement before Scarlett turns 30. <laughs> um, that's quite I'm talking possible. Russian dance. And I mean, like all baby, the you... Put on, like, you performed like this was your last fucking, per like, I'm not even joking. I want to say you put on a show it, like it was, it was your awesome. last show. Like, you had to impress whoever to get wherever you needed to go, and bitch, they sent you with a golden ticket on a boat ride in a damn lake of chocolate like in the Willy Wonkas. Uh, don't, yeah. Don't ever lose yourself and try to get on RP. I don't um, know what that is. Oh, oh, oh yeah. never mind, bitch. You, you would do I... so much better on Brulee Brothers. That's where the real queens go. And Nikki B and I was having a conversation not long ago, 
and your name came up, Scarlett, we would love, 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 love me a long time for you. you to come on our show sometime. On our show sometime. Mm -hmm. um, Nikki said, oh my gosh, well maybe we could interview Scarlett while Scarlett does your makeup. And I said, oh, contraire, mon frere. That's French for to the contrary, my brother. <laughs> because if you don't know who this is, you should not be watching this per curse. This is divine. This is RuPaul's inspiration. This is the queen of queens. Mm -hmm. Now you tell me right now. This is Divine's love child right here. I could so, quote every movie right now, but I won't because that would take up the rest of the pod. Cap could too. For the next, yeah, we were doing it a minute ago. <laughs> so I said no. If anybody's makeup's getting done, this is going on that because I'm telling you. And I do have the perfect belly to play Divine. Just saying. And your eyebrows are very blonde, so they can all, they can go halfway up your forehead. Yep, yep, and my hairline's all the way up here. There's um, a, just a plethora of things. I can do the Baltimore accent almost flawlessly. Almost flawless. So, the only issue, well, you know what? I told you the issue that I had at Pride. And I'm not even going to give that person the time. There was, I, I, I will put it this way, there was someone there that probably sh should not have been there. They were just there watching the ladies. And I, I believe that they were way too intoxicated to realize that they were at Pride due to the things that were coming out of their mouth. They thought they was at a food truck festival. And they thought that they could grind up on... You can't do that. No. Because I'm sorry. Right. You have to be great to touch us. And let me tell you something. If my bean hadn't gone to the shitter, she would have probably, mm -hmm. she, she people's mm -hmm. elbowed your ass. So anyway. Yeah, you fucking moron. I love it when you do that. Oh, that's my, we gotta find them if we're ever in Virginia. Yes. So, have you ever heard of, like, those bidding places where you just go on there and they have random shit, you bid on them and you go pick them up? Right, it's like, um, bid for coochie 937. Right. Something like that. Well, apparently, I, I bid on some lip gloss. Well, I don't wear lip gloss. You're like, I don't know, it was like at four in the morning, so. I don't remember. I get Mike got up one morning and he's like, so what did you win from the bid for? Bid the bid for. Bid the bid 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 bomb. The bid bid bop. And I said, I ain't bid on nothing. And the bed check again. He's like, cause that's not what my bank account says. Oh, so, yeah, right? So I looked and it said lip gloss. And I was like, man, I don't wear lip gloss. So I'm gonna have to give it to the children. And what? And then I picked it up, and I'm like, man, F them kids. Look how pretty it is. <gasps> right? Maybe it's not Maybelline. It's May Deer. May Deer. Look, May Deer. Ha! <laughs> that is why I'm wearing black lipstick today. I have not tried this yet. I want to try it live on the pod. Um, I did swatches on the top of my hands last night. And they... That one's wicked. I know, I know. And I brought my makeup wipes here. So I'm going to do a swatch on top of my hand. But I wanted to try it on top of black lipstick because I feel like it, it'll it show up a lot better on top of the black Absolutely. lipstick. Absolutely. The lip stock. Not the gold. None of these have the names, other. but we'll... Um, Let's give them names. Okay, yeah. I've got one. Engorged Labia. <laughs> This one absolutely looks like your Kunangelo is excited. Okay, we're gonna swatch it right here, just on my hand. Ooh, that is not Kunangelo. That Do is. Do you want to rename it? I'm gonna call that fluorescent blood stain. Ooh, this is like Urban Decay, so that's gonna need a. That's a, like iridescent. 
Uh, okay. Let's call that boil pop. Okay. Let's mm. take that off. Mmm, yes. Is it, oh, it's not opposite. opposite There's children in that van, so hopefully they shut the front up. Uh, they're actually really polite. They're like the best kids in the universe. Polite is one thing, quiet's another. Like, I don't think I've ever heard them scream when they got out of the car. They have to get inside out of the sunlight before they melt. <laughs> okay, so we'll go down the line. We'll, we'll make these the last ones. Okay, I'm trying to like find a name in this. my hand. Because I feel like that's going to be the, well, I know that was the prettiest we one know on that. me. Right, we already know it. So here's the next one. This this has some pinks and some yellows, I think. Some greens um, a little bit. Let's call this one, without seeing it on your skin, uh, Baptist Church Sunday Service. Oh, that screams Baptist shirt. Oh, I love that's it. That's definitely Oh, amazing. it's amazing. That's a Baptist color. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. That screams, pass me the snake, Pastor. And, and that one goes really great with your complexion. It do, Nikki it's B. Like, it do. It mixes with my skin, and then if I catch the light, you might think that I have patches of skin. That, or you might think I'm a fish. Yeah, I was just about to say that, like, produce, like, chlorophyll and... I have a feeling this one's you. gonna be really pretty. This has some purples and yellows and blues. All I see is gold, so I'm gonna say this one is 1987. 1987. Okay, I can see 1987. Um, almost like 1991, like Arizona jeans from J C Penney or Sears or wherever. J C Penney. Um. Nice. There we go. When the sunlight hits it, oh, it's yeah. gold. Oh, so Look at that. Now you look like an android. I like that. Ooh, but then when you dip it down, it looks like a blood fart got blood on your hand. Fart? A blood fart? Yeah. You know, a blood like, fart. Like the kind you have when you um, when you do uh, moonshine the night before. Ooh. <laughs> Those are bad. This is like a purple and blue. We'll call that Regal. Regal. I like that. That's nice, isn't it? Oh my God, it's like, it gives mermaid right away. Wait till you see the next one. Look at that. Ooh, look at, oh, you totally got like. It looks like look lips, at, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it, it's fish scale. Fishy, yeah. I like that. Love that one's it. nice. It is nice. And these okay. are lip glosses. Yes. And I, like that's like I said, and I brought my black lipstick so I can take off and reapply so we can, you know, get good feedback for these. This may be a longer. This may be one of our longer podcasts. I know because we've got a lot of content. We got a that's lot really of stuff. Funny to go over. Oh yes. So here's the last one. Ooh, girl. Winner. Yes. Oh, that one's doubly good fit. <gasps> Ooh, when the sun <clears throat> hits it. Oh my God. Oh, Does that not it make look, you moist? Yeah, it looks like your Yadis, uh, the Ice Queen or whatever from Narnia. Yes, I love her. Okay, so oh. how's the black? Is it good? Should I reapply? What? Before no, I start. Let's, let's see which one. Which one did you like? I like. Well, we'll stop from. We'll, we'll go back from the beginning. I'll put this on so I can see what I'm at least doing, so I can see what I look like too. <laughs> oh. That's wonderful. Oh, let's make sure my phone didn't do anything stupid real yes. quick. Okay. So I will start with this one. Oh, we're doing great. Okay. Praise the Dark Lord. Ooh, Nikki B. Oh, yeah. Hi. It's 2003, and I'm going to 1470s for a couple cocktails and into the asylum. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Oh, wow. Damn, can... these are good. Yeah, those are really good. Just from And that's Walgreens. black lipstick. Mm-hmm. These are Walgreens brands. You know, makeup has come so far from when we were teenagers. Remember how Word we just up. used eyeshadow for everything? Everything. You just took your Urban Decay, uh, what was it? 
It was like naked charcoal or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you put it on for everything. We'd mix it with chapstick to make lipstick. Uh, mix it with Vaseline for eyeshadow. This would be a bitchin' highlighter too. Oh, ooh. You know what? You could do eyes and everything. Weird. Turn someone into like a reptile person or some oh. shit. All right. Or fishy. Next. Next. Okay. This is back to uh. stretch. Ooh, I uh. didn't realize how much I would uh. like Baptist Church. That's not Baptist Church. That's very like... That's horrid church. I love it. It's like you're that one thing. Um, <laughs> poison Ivy. That <gasps> Poison Ivy person. Yes. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, that looks good. It doesn't show up on the cameras, but it shows up on. I kind of figured. Me. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. It is. I'm so glad I accidentally bought it. Okay, the third one. This was one that we really, really liked. So I'm anxious to see what that looks like on there. This one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's Aslan. Okay, there we go. Those wipes just don't taste so good, but... I, I can only imagine they need to come out with some that tastes good. Mm. Uh, mm. Ah! 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 Mm. Oh look at You look like, um, Lieutenant Commander Data's daughter on Star Trek. You've got Android. That gives Android look. Fierce Android look. I love it. Hello, I am I the sex it. bot 4000. I Here love to it. pleasure you. Please adjust the length of my throat. Can you hand me one of those paper towels? Yes. For when you need real heavy makeup remover, try ultra strong paper towels from Great Value. Okay. Now it's the dark blue. Okay. Okay, dark blue. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this one too. Super excited. I'm so stoked about that one. This one's good. Oh, uh uh. Look at that. Look at. Look at. Look at. Look at that. Oh my god, it's like Papa Smurf went to town on you. Papa Smurf at Pride. Papa don't preach. I'm in trouble, Dean. Papa don't preach. That shows up the best on camera. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that's my favorite so far. Oh my. Did we I do can't it wait. All? This one's in it. This is the okay. last one. So, so far, that Regal Boop Papa Smurf happiness was really good. So, I'll probably fit. I'll just leave that one on for the remainder of the podcast if it looks nice. Okay, good. Here we go. It's the last one. So She's going to try. I'm going to love it. I'm going to be beautiful. And if anybody ever wants to do our makeup on camera, and you can dress up in cosplay, whatever you want. Like We, we are, are always down, down to be a clown, baby. You can clown up. And I'll buy my own makeup. We can even go to the store and buy it at, um, what's that place that's called Catacombs? Uh, do we love this Sephirshara? one? Oh, I love it. Okay, I think I like it better than the blue. Okay. Especially with the black. So, we'll leave oh, that yeah, one that on. that shows up good on your telephone, Jalo. So, we'll leave that on. And then, uh, something that I actually oh, got off of another um, thing um, real quick while we're on the subject of makeup. And then we will move on. Um, I had an accident when I was 11 years old. I, a friend of mine decided, a friend of mine and I decided we were going to build a tree swing in my front yard on a day that... The street was literally getting tarred and gray. And since Ooh. I was bigger than her, I said, well, let me get on here to make sure it'll hold me because if it holds me, I know it's going to hold your fucking skinny ass. Well, it didn't hold me. And I fell flat on my face and I have a lot of scarring. I have, a, you know, scars on my lip everywhere. A lot are in my eyebrows. And I had my eyebrows bladed twice and they faded less than a year in. Um, which we didn't know how it was going to turn out, whether it was going to happen or not. So we went in there knowing that. So it's not like I was like, my eyebrows and you need to fix. It wasn't anything like that. We went in there knowing that it could potentially not happen. 
Right, because so, you can't guarantee stuff like that. People should never go in trying right, to get results right. with the model. Exactly, car. exactly. So I have found um, brow tint, and this isn't the only product that I've used, but I recently like, purchased this okay, one. Because you know I'm a nerd. I'm not one of those like makeup -y people. What is tint? It's basically like mascara, but for your brows? Pretty much. Okay. I mean, pretty much. So I have stuff that I've used. I, I, I like a dramatic brow sometimes, and I have this stuff that I put on, and then you peel it off, and then it stays for like a couple days, but if you fuck it up, you're going to have that stain on your face. Ooh. Right. I did it one time, I'll never forget, and it was just like perfection. I couldn't get it after that. So I have purchased things like this in the past. And they're they're not cheap. This was oh, eight dollars for two of them, and it has like these little prongs that oh, you can so do cute. your brows. Because I have a lot of uh, spots in my brow that are um, scarred and won't hold color or anything like that. So I, it's not like I can go have them done again. You know, mm -hmm. I mean I could, but I'm not going to because the first time I slept through it slept through it. Second time, I felt like it was, I felt like I was being cruel and unusually punished. Um, because I she have, was doing the... When my when my crazy old man flyaways started coming in, I would pluck those. Oh my god, that would make me start crying. Yeah, and I can't pluck. that's not even because I, just I thought shaved. it was painful. It triggered those things in my face. I'd be like, look and be like, ah! Yeah. It was very painful. Now I just trim them. Yes. Because I don't pull them off anymore. Yes. We I learn our even, lessons yeah, as we get older. Yeah, it is. Suck. Yes. Yes. So, I would like to talk about a very serious topic briefly, but it's a very happy topic. And then we're going to go on to our Q&A, which everyone seems to really, really, uh, really, really love. You guys outdid yourself this time. We yes, we called some people. Questions. Yes, we actually called people like, hey, what is your question? So I want to talk about addiction and how tough it is to get out of that circle. Oh, yeah, it is. Because you have to give up all those people. So, yeah, and that's really hard, and I was really bad on the canes, and I haven't touched it since 2020, yeah, 2003, October 2003, and it was something that if I had it, I was the most pleasant, uplifting human being you'd ever want to be around, but the moment I ran out, it was like Jekyll and Hyde. It really was, and I just, I couldn't do it anymore. It's because your body quits producing serotonin and dopamine yeah, it just, when you do it. So you, yeah, my house was low, clean as hell all the time, but you know. You go real low when you come down. So, it, it's really hard to walk that path, no matter, no matter how you choose to walk the path of sobriety. The end goal is always the same, no matter what kind of cheering and jeering you hear on the sidelines from other people. Like, you know, there's people that go it, go to, um, what's the clinics? Oh, um, hashtag stoner moments. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So they recovery. can wean, them, wean themselves off effectively. And, I and remember that. Right, so I can't sorry. remember. Like, methadone clinics. Like, you know, and, and, and be on a Rehab. Gradual, like, re <laughs> Why couldn't we remember that? Right. So, that song is one of my vocal stems, so I'm trying to keep myself from singing it during this serious moment. What song? Amy Winehouse, Rehab. Oh. It's one of my vocal stems. But well, anyway. No, no, no. No. Well, some of these people that I'm about to mention did say yeah 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 um and some of them you know did it on their own but first and foremost i want to say happy sobriety to ashley reiner yeah ashley 
Ashley has fought haters upon haters upon haters. Then something happened that made her look down and be like, Oh, wow. And I'm his Moomal. Yeah. She had a little cubby and she is living for her and cubby and she has, I believe, just sell it. I mean, she's either just celebrated or is getting ready to celebrate seven months of sobriety. Yay! I love you, Ashley. You have done phenomenal. Um, I want to talk about a, a heifer named Brandy Hughes, um, who is going on, I believe, four years of sobriety. Yay, Brandy! Way to go! I am super proud of her. She came from the ashes like a phoenix. She has a family. She's her kids are just amazing. Um, I have songs about them both. When her youngest son was a baby, he looked like a little leprechaun. Maybe he is a leprechaun. He, he, he just, he stole my heart like, like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So I love you, Brandy. Um, the next person I want to shout out is my hippie queen, Colleen. This girl, I don't know how long she's been sober and it don't even fucking matter because the fact that she has found herself again is phenomenal enough, let alone she got- it's hard to come back from, it's just being sober, you don't always get your old self back. No, and she was okay with not getting her old self back because when she came back now, she has a loving partner that's very supportive of her. She's got a job. She just recently posted how wonderful it is to be living independently, paying your own bills, working. And she's so back in her kid's life and she's a grandma and she is a hippie. Like I would absolutely love to have her here one time. She is just the coolest person and to have seen her in the clutches of addiction killed me. Oh, it all, it's always just soul crushing when you've and, got friends like that. And the fact that she has done so well, I just cannot shout her out enough. I love you, you hippy dippy bitch. Um, and then of course, I know, I know I'm getting to you. My twin, my, I have a cousin named Katrina. She got into some shit and it was touch and go for a while. She would, you know, she would try to, you know, get out of the clutches and something would pull her back in. And finally, a lot of people. finally, she told the dragon to get out of here. Off. Go work on Game she of Thrones. She is way too pretty for that type of life. She likes, nowadays, she can spend her money on her lip fillers and her Botoxes and and oh, I just gosh. love that. And it's been several years of sobriety mm. for her. And that was one that was one that was really rough on me because had something happened to her, it would have fucking killed me. I can absolutely It, really it would have killed me um, if anything would have happened to her. And every time the phone would ring and, you know, it would be a certain person or whatever, or she had been on my mind and then somebody called, it would just be like my heart would sink. So I am so beyond happy that she is out of the clutches of that. Yay. Yes, I love you, my skinny me. Yay. Um, now, the next couple of people I'm gonna talk about, you may need a flow chart, but um, I'm gonna talk about a, a woman by the name of Amy and her boyfriend of several years, uh, Paul and their sobriety, I believe it's, I'll say six months, I believe, so let's clap for yeah. them. Amy and Paul, or as a, my daughter calls him, Wally P. Wally P. Long story, but it's, it. I have a friend named Paul, I call him Polly D, and she just, for whatever reason, you know, his name's Wally Paul P. too, so Paul and Polly, so she called him Wally P. So, um, Amy, um, is my sister. Amy Amy gave birth to a little girl in 2018 
and in it's 2019, the right, and in 2019, a whole slew of freaking tornadoes come barreling through here on Memorial Day weekend, and right after that, the day after, that little baby came to live with us at nine months old. Oh wow, the tornadoes blew the, her to you. Yes, literally. the tornadoes, yes, and her birth name was Ray Lynn. Um, and we have had her since she was nine months old. And last year on May 10th, we legally adopted her with, the, bla with the blessing of mom. And her name was changed um, because the tornadoes brought her in and the rain. So if you knew the path of destruction of these tornadoes, because there were several. Right, like 13, I the think. The fact that, that our areas were left untouched was mind-boggling just because of the path that it went. Like, it was so close. All we got was rain. All we got was rain. Thank goodness all we got was rain. I just kept thinking that. So, my daughter's name is Rainly. So rain, and then L Y for love you. That's how I got her name. That's so her first cute. name is Rainly, and her middle name is Joe. Which my middle name is Joe. Say what you will if she's named after me, but she's not. It's just coincidental, I would say. Well, it, if it flows with it, it flows with it. Her middle name is Joe. My middle name is Joe, but she's actually named after my brother who passed away from AIDS three years ago. Amy and I shared that brother. Oh, okay. They had the same mom. We had the same dad. However, okay. we all look the same. And as you know, my daughter right. looks literally just like me. Oh, she does. You would never ne ever so, know that she wasn't. I want to yours. just shout out Amy and Paul. Amy for being so selfless and recognizing so that <clears throat> that we that we definitely. We're gonna provide for her in a way that <clears throat> she couldn't, and to this day, you know, she's still involved. Like that's our baby, and you know, our daughter will say, "I came out." Of, she call her. She calls her Namie. She goes, "I come out of Namie's belly, and then a tornado brought me all the way to mommy and daddy." And you know what was a weird thing is when she was very, very little, like two or three months old, uh -huh. we babysat her for a short time. Oh. And she always called me Bob. Bob. That's but cute. guess what she called my husband? What? Dada. Aww. Since day one, it's like that baby knew that my husband, and she's still obsessed with her dad. But yeah, so Amy and Paul, I am super proud of you guys, and um, you guys owe me a steak dinner. Yeah, me too, actually. I'm pretty fucking hungry right now, actually. I know I'm gonna so. want to bash too soon. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, moved from the sappy shit, and we are gonna go to our Q and A, which everybody seems to enjoy immensely, as I do. Are we still good? <laughs> okay. All right. So. Oh, that was a check. That was a camera check. So. We have a couple uh, questions regarding uh, food here. So the first one is, how do you like your wieners? Sarah wants to know, how do we like our wieners? Huh. Circumcised. <laughs> yeah, circumcised, uh, freshly bathed. No formunda. Yeah, no formunda cheese. But if you were talking about... Like, the sustenance. Like I, sausage, I like my pigs in a blanket. Sausage wieners, my favorite. Um, big red smokies. Ooh, yes. they just don't ever burn. Oh, they're so wonderful. Yes, I want my hot dogs to be as black as my soul and as crusty as my elbows. Um, I'm not a fan of those kind, but I will eat them. They're not bad. You right. You just gotta put a lot of mustard on them. And yeah, I like mustard. So, um, that was from Sarah. Sarah, thank you for that question. Thank you for answering our call when we called you, Sarah. 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, believe it or not, we have uh, a question from someone by the name of RuPaul. This was emailed to us. Oh, I don't know if it's the RuPaul. There was I no like know. official. There anything. was no check mark. Okay. But we we can only assume and hope. Um, so this is also regarding food. It says, do you have a go-to recipe for Pride Month? It's so funny you should ask that, RuPaul. We were just talking. And it's the same dish. We were so right. surprised. Well, I was like, I, I love that. it too. It is called Habadik. Habadik. <laughs> Here, Habadik. Why Nikki B? What is Habadik? Um, it is little red spokies and meatballs. Kind of like a... Hobbit, you know what? Hobbit genitalia. Yes. So? Yes. It's we, a hobbit. It's, it's a long thing to say, hobbit. So we said hobbitic. Right. And you can say it in any ethnic um, uh, Whatever accent you, prefer. you want. Yeah. Your preference. Hobbitic. Yep. And then also, uh, you said the vagina cookies. Oh, yeah. Vagina cookies. AKA. That, that's where you take um, icing and make it into the shape of kunandalos. All over all the cookies. Different ones, too. None of them should look the same. Mm -mm. And all the fortunes should be different. Yes. When you break it. <laughs> yes, there's something inside when you break it. <laughs> all right. So, Ronald, this is also an email. Oh, Ronald. Ronald wants to know what our first childhood fear was. Ooh. Um, mine was being abducted by aliens. Hmm. Nice. Because of a movie called Communion. My childhood fear is still my adult fear. That would be lightning bugs. Mm. Oh, don't. I love lightning bugs. I know. Bugs. You probably count them in little jars and put them on your nightstand like a little nighty light for Nikki B, didn't you? Yes. Absolutely. Well, my children chased me around with them, trying to get them to attack me. I don't know, people. Just shut up. All I know, I don't know if I was attacked by one. I'm, I'm not sure. But to this day, I don't see any rhyme or reason for any damn insect, person, anything in this world, anus to glow. That ain't nothing but straight from the bowels of Satan's sack. It's beautiful. Satan's little it's night. So, it's so beautiful. You got cottonwood trees around here. I do. It's floating. Uh, there is right. tree jizz <laughs> flying in from outside. It gets my nose up. all the time. I so worry my about eye. that. I As know. a former cokehead, you get worried about shit like that. Like, I mess with my nose all the time. People would be like, she back on that stuff? No, no baby. Is. If I was back on that stuff, I'd be... I'd be shingling your fucking house. Like, da, 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 right, da, I would da, be shingling da, 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 your house. All right, so that was what. Okay, so now we have a question from Brittany. What's up, Brittany? Thank you for watching and listening. Mm -hmm. We called Brittany on the video chat because yes. she thought she was live. She was not. No, but Brittany had a question. A very good question. Probably shouldn't have asked it to her best friend, but here goes nothing. So Brittany wants to know, what would you do, what would we do, if we had gotten married to someone and tattooed a ring on our finger, then you got divorced from that person, you have already paid in full to have said tattoo removed from your finger. Like a lot of money. Like a lot, a lot, a as lot of money. As much as the fucking vacation. A lot. To have this tattoo removed... And you've already paid in full, but now you're back with your ex-spouse, but you have no plans on getting married because your best friend said absolutely fucking not again, ever. So, do you... And you can't get this, you can't get this money back. This right, is non-refundable. Right, told her, like, you try to get this money back, and you're going to have to pay us $50. Yeah, and then we're going to cut your finger off. Well, they didn't say that last part. Right. But I just added that for dramatic. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm a little extra. Um, so what would we do? Would we would we not get the tattoo removed since we're back with our ex? Or would we continue to go and have the tattoo removed? 
What do you say? Have the tattoo removed because you're no longer married. That's what I said. You just said. happen to be together. That's right. Go ahead. And it was a lot of money. You've already paid for it. And if you can't get that money back, plus you're going to have to pay more if you do cancel it, Go get the tattoo removed. And you'll have a cool scar there. That has, yeah, it, it's a scar there to tell the story. Like, yeah, see this? I was married to it. And then see I said, this? man, kiss my ass. Right and then right. I was like, wait a minute, kiss my ass romantically again. But I've already paid for this to be removed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Please don't be angry. Right. That's right. what had happened. But <laughs> I said, you're going to take the shit off. And I right. said, you're not getting married again because. So we bought a laser removal kit. And we're going to remove we're, it for we're her. We're going to remove it for her live on the air. Remember, we should... Okay. We we've, paused ourselves. We've decided, we've decided that instead of speaking to all these ass cheeks that walk past here, whenever somebody walks past, we're just going to freeze like mannequins. I know you guys can't see, but... Uh, Maybe you assumed because you can see behind us. We're in a garage. A garage. Natural lighting. We look great in. So. We sure do. Okay, so um, we have an email that was from an anonymous listener. And this is our last question of the day, of the week. Um, it's from anonymous. Um, so I guess maybe we can call her the space cowboy. Yeah, absolutely. Or maybe the gangster of love. Or maybe... Maurice Rockwell. Okay. Sync there. I know we should be on the voice. All right. So Maurice says, I am hooking up with a homeless man in a love shack in Arkansas. Love shack, baby, baby love, love shack. shack. I got a shit stain. It's as big as a whale. Well, it's about to set sail. To the love shack. shack. Okay. Mm -hmm. We could have really kept going with that, but we're going to spare you guys. We digress. Respect. I'm hooking up with a homeless man in a love shack in Arkansas. He doesn't bathe regularly. <laughs> I know it's like a cutie. This is for real, y'all. We did not make this shit up. Okay. <clears throat> I'm. <laughs> hmm. I am hooking up with a homeless man in a love shack in Arkansas. He doesn't bathe regularly, and I suffer from anal seepage. And the love shack is less than hospitable. My question is: Can you get tetanus of the pussy? Well, I'm That's not a, a good question, Becca. I mean, Maurice. I am probably. not a doctor, but I think Or a gynecologist. That you can indeed get tetanus in your kunandula. Um, I wouldn't I, want to see pictures of it. That's for damn sure. I can't give you real medical advice. No. But if you know, I haven't earned my doctorate yet. But if you know a veterinarian and they're your close friend, they can help you out. Can suppress your animal glands. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the anal seepage. You can have those burned off. Mm -hmm. Or have Eric, I mean, your partner, suppress your anal pockets on either side of your right. anus. It's, it's just like a video game controller. Kind you get of. down there, you spread like that, and then you're like. Right. But now tell him to wear a mask because that's going to start. For real, and if he pops anything, it could all of a sudden just squirt out and hit his teeth. Mm, he don't have any. I mean, oh. it might. And it's the Punk Unicorns Podcast. We'll see you again next, next week. Month. No, wait, yeah, we're doing two more episodes, three more episodes. Man, this is some good luck. Yeah, there we go. Love you, mean it. Oh, we love you a long time. Oh my God, that was so good. Mm. That was good. Mm. It's always good. Oh, it's always good. Oh my God, Tina. We got 54 seconds.